Well, we're in England doing some very interesting cannons. These are brass cannons, solid brass cannons. They are model cannons. They were not used for starting cannons, for example, at a yacht club or a race or academy. They're decorative models. The touch holes are cast on both sides, very much an ornamental set. The touch holes don't go through to the actual barrel. So solid brass, not plated, not brass effect, solid brass. The carriages are cast iron, and I would date these cannons, this pair of cannons, at about 1910. The cannon, the cannon barrels were made at the same time as the carriage. The um, carriage has a socket, integral socket, and the barrel is very much made with them. It wasn't a matter of somebody making a carriage to go with old, older, older barrels. So uh, cast iron, uh, working legs, very interesting design, graceful design. So they're very meaty, stocky, heavy. They would be, as I say, ornamental. I think they would have been for indoor use. I uh, guess you could put them outside, but they're going to go, they're going to just colour quite fast or they'll get stolen. Um, they, they, they were perhaps for a hallway or a library or a large room in a, in a nice, nice house. So there's two of them, which makes the pair. There are other sets like this on the internet. Some are described as Victorian, but they're not Victorian. The casting is, uh, and then the way the nuts appear, mean they're not Victorian. They're actually just after the Edwardian period. I think the, the barrels certainly look like the Victorian, um, and without, without the, the carriage, it would be, very it'd be a very reasonable thing to do to make these have an early date, you know, you, you, would, you, would, you would give them an early date because they're very heavy, nicely made, nice patina, not crudely casted or chased, but nicely made. So I'm basing the date on the ones I've seen online and the fact the carriage has a much later type of manufacture. So one pair of cannons, these are in England and they are um, for collection from England, I don't know the ramifications of tripping a gun or a cannon. I guess it's difficult, but it's up to the buyer to decide how to handle it. Um, thanks very much for having a look. Bye.